Hey there, a panel here. In this short video, I'll be going over how to add air dodges and free fall states. If this series has been helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need any further help or access to additional videos, contact me on Discord through the Patreon in the description. So that being said, let's get into this. All right, so one of the first things we're going to do is head into our state machine like so. And we're going to scroll all the way to the top of our state. And we're going to add in a new state and it's going to be called air dodge. All right, so it should look something like this. Add underscore state and then you add in air dodge. And so now what we're going to do is scroll all the way down and we're going to add in our actual code for our air dodge state. So scroll all the way to the bottom, maybe under where landing is. So as you can see, under landing, what we're going to do is add in the code for our new state and it's going to look something like this. So as you can see, we have states dot underscore air dodge. The code for this is very simple. It's not too complicated. So what we're going to do is check on our first frame. And on our first frame, we're going to make our character's velocity zero so they freeze. And what we're going to do is make it so that we are able to determine the input of our character. So left, right, up or down. So what we're going to do is uh, have a code that, like this. So what I'm doing over here is I'm establishing the dead zone in case some people's analog sticks if they're using analog sticks for the fighting game if they have some sort of drift to them or they're not perfectly centered and so taking that into account what we're going to do is have a vector 2 and we're going to have the input of the right be sub subtracted by the input of the left for the x-axis and then for the y-axis of the vector 2 input we're going to have down input be subtracted from the up input and so if let's say our user's input is currently within the dead zone, so they're not pressing anything, the input for the direction is actually going to be zero. But if our character is pressing an input, they are going to air dodge in the direction that they have inputted. All right, so now the following piece of code is quite simple. All we're, going, all we're doing here is saying that if we are above four frames and less than 10 frames in this section, we're going to make it so that our character's hurtbox is disabled. They are not going to be able to receive any sort of damage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that our character's velocity is going to be equal to the... It's going to slow down. So our character's going to gradually slow down as they air dodge. Now, moving on to frames between 10 and 20, we're going to make it so that our character has completely stopped. We're basically just animating the movement of our character's velocity through the code in these lines of code from here to here. The only unique part is frame 20. So on frame 20, what we're going to do is we're going to implement a new state and it's going to be called the free fall state, which is the next part. So our character is automatically now going to go into free fall once they are done with the air dodge. But if our character air dodges into the ground and they're on the floor they're going to return to the landing state so if you want to have proper wave dashing you might want to have it so that when your character air dodges into the floor they land which will allow them to slide against the floor thus resulting in wave dashing if you want it to be more like melee so now that we've done that i can now move on to the free fall state in fact, before I move on to the free fall state, I forgot that I have to add the animation for our air dodge state. So what I'm going to do is under landing, we're going to add in the animation and it should look something like this. So states dot air underscore dodge. So we're going to have the animation, play the air dodge animation. And we're going to have the state label text be equal to air dodge. And now we can actually move on to the free fall state. All right, so moving on to the free fall state, this one is also quite simple. What we're going to do is add in the state at the top of our state machine. So it should look something like this, add underscore state and then free fall. And then now what we're going to do is scroll down and add in the actual logic for the code of the free fall state. All right, so what we're going to do is scroll down like before near the landing state. Just so that the air dodge state and the free fall state are linked together and in this gap under our get transitions function what we're going to do is add in the logic and it should look something like this all right so as you can see the code for the free fall 
state is actually the exact same as the air state. The only difference is that within this state, you cannot jump. So you can't jump out of free fall because that's the whole point of free fall. You've done a recovery, you've done an air dodge, and now you're in a state where you are falling until you hit the ground or until you hit the blast zone, which is going to come soon in a future video. But this code is the exact same as the air state just without the ability to double jump. You even, you even have the code which allows you to fast fall. But everything else here is pretty much identical to the air state. And so the last thing that I would have to do, or you would have to do for you to get the free fall state would be to add its animation. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down all the way to where our animations are. And you want to look for around where the landing state is, which is over here. And so between this gap between uh, air dodge and for me ledge catch you want to add in this line of code states dot free underscore four and then you want to play the animation for the free fall animation and then you also want to have the states text be free underscore four and that's pretty much it so now i'm going to demonstrate to you the animations and each of these states working and that should be it for this video in fact before i get into the demonstration there's actually two more lines of code or two more pieces of code that we have to add before our free fall state can work so what we need to do is go to our air state and here and in this air state you want to add in this line of code now this line of code is very simple all it's simply going to do is allow us to actually enter into our air dodge state because we need to press the shield button and the only way we can press the shield button is when we're in the air state so if you double jump and you're in the air you can then press shield and then you enter into the air dodge, air dodge state now for you to actually land on the ground because you go from air dodge into free fall we want to make it so that from free fall we can land on the ground so you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and in this landing function that we've made from other parts of the series we need to include the state of free fall so it should look something like this states dot underscore free fall so what this means is if we're in a free fall state and our ground ray casts are colliding with uh, the floor we are going to be able to go into the landing state and touch the ground and go back into running so now i can demonstrate to you the landing function working and the ability to actually go into the air dodge state so to actually demonstrate this working what i'm going to do is go into the main stage and i'm going to instantiate the fox scene so i'm going to instantiate fox and i'm going to put fox.tscn give him the id of one so i can control him with player one and put him over here all right and so now once i'm in the air i can air dodge and then immediately i go into free fall when i do a free fall i cannot jump out of it and I am completely vulnerable in the free fall state. Now, if you look at my wolf character, I've added in some modulation changes so it's clearer that he's air dodging. You can do that for yourself. If you want to know how to do that, I will upload a video on Patreon if you want to add some extra details such as that. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.